Hey y'all, this is Jamie. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing lip swatches and a review on the new Milani Color Fetish Matte Lipstick, the Nudes Collection. But before we get into that, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also give this a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> So I had a hard time saying the name of this lipstick. So, so this is a new lipstick from Milani. It came out a month or two ago. This is the Color Fetish Mattes. This is the nude collection. So they do already have the Color Fetish Mattes lipsticks. They just recently came out with this nudes collection, which are all <laughs> nudes. Come on now. So in today's video, I am going to be talking a little bit about this product. I'm gonna be doing lip swatches and then we're gonna end with a little mini review. So I'm gonna try and keep this short and sweet. So let's go ahead and talk about the product. All right, so this right here is the product. As I said, maybe I can say it again. This is the Color Fetish Mattes Nude Collection. This is a velvet matte lipstick. So this does include six shades. I have all six of them today to try on for y'all and give y'all swatches on. This is supposed to be the perfect nude shade for every skin tone. It's supposed to have full coverage with one stroke payoff. This is enhanced with hyaluronic acid to nourish the lips. It is cruelty-free, vegan, made in Italy. Oh, these are $8.99 a piece, so they are the same price on the Ulta website as they are on the Milani website. So I know with a couple of other Milani products that I have reviewed recently, they have been more expensive on the Milani website than at Ulta, but this is actually the same price, $8.99 at both Ulta and Milani. So this is what the component looks like, really sleek, really pretty, and I actually really love the way that it looks because it looks very velvet matte. Um, on the outside. This does come with 0.14 ounces, which is four grams, and it has a shelf life of 18 months. So let's get into the lip swatches. So those were all of the shades. The one that I am wearing on my lips right now, ooh crap, let me see if I remember, is the shade 450 Desire. And I had a hard time deciding which one I wanted to put on just to talk about these products. I 
loved almost all of them. I would say the one that I was kind of iffy about is one that I'm not surprised about because I don't tend to like pink shades, like true pink shades on my lips. And that was the shade 430 Secret. Really pretty shade. I just, I don't tend to like pink shades on my lips. Let's talk about my thoughts on this as a product. $8.99, good price, not a great price. <laughs> um, I realized uh, when I needed to buy six of these at $8.99 a piece, that's six times nine, 54 dollars that got a little pricey but obviously if you were just a normal consumer and are not buying them for a lip swatch video you probably will just get one or two as far as the color payoff i do think it has quite a bit of color payoff it's very even color as well there was no like blotchiness so i really loved that i loved the way that it went on this definitely i was a little nervous when it said matte because I, I'm not a huge fan of, of matte lip products, but it does not at all feel like a matte lipstick. Now this that I'm wearing right now, I did put a little bit of lip balm on. The shininess might be coming from the lip balm, but while I was doing my lip swatches, those were just on my naked lips. It was easily removable. So yeah, I really do like the finish of this. I think that it's not getting all over my teeth. I think even those darker shades, the last two shades that were pretty dark, um, it wasn't getting on my teeth or anything. It wasn't making a mess. Of course, it's not gonna be transfer proof. And I especially like these shades moving into fall. So my favorite shades, I really loved this one, which was 410 Pleasure, that was the first one. And then I really loved this one, which was 450 Desire, the one that I have on my lips. And then the last one, 460 Sensual, I was, I was not expecting. I love a good dark lip. Um, I think because of my hair, I, I tend to go more for the like fall tones anyways, and kind of the darker shades anyways. So I loved how that looked. As far as if you need a lip liner, I would definitely suggest wearing a lip liner with the darker shades, especially this last shade right here. Um, probably the last two shades, I really felt the need for a lip liner. It does have a pretty pointed tip that makes it kind of easy to get into the corners of your lips and to kind of line your lips just with this, but that probably will eventually wear down. So yeah, I would suggest a lip liner and I would suggest this product, $8.99. Milani Color Fetish Mattes Nude Collection. Yes, I did it! All right, so that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Give this a thumbs up, it would really help me out a lot. Please help me to reach my goal of a thousand subscribers. I am very close. I think I'm a little over 40 away from a thousand subscribers. So please help me out if you are not already subscribed. I would really appreciate it. And thank you to everyone who has already subscribed and who watches my videos. I really appreciate you. <sighs> thank you. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye y'all on the new Milani Fetish Nudes, nope, Color Fetish Matte Lipstick. Color Fetish, <laughs> can't get it. The new Milani Color Fetish Matte's Color. Ah, I almost had it.